Ooh. Meteorologist Tammy Souza here, not with a ticket to Mars, but no. uh, I mean, we've had punched how many tickets this summer for uh, heat waves? No, we just keep punching and punching. You know, we have not had a sub average temperature month since April. They've all just been above average. Just Believing building, it. Building. And feeling building. it. Yeah, exactly. We're going to keep on feeling it. It's the gift that keeps on giving here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and launch ourselves again for mm -hmm. tomorrow, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and look well, at some numbers. We... I got numbers. I got stats to Show share us. with you. First of all, we're going to go to Atlantic City. Plenty of numbers Playing some numbers City. down there. Hey! Exactly. Woo! <laughs> Bring those we're gonna sevens. We're going to play some of those 90s. Maybe that would be a good thing to do. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at uh, what's going on. Now, so far this month, we have had 16 90 degree Days. Count them up. There you go. In fact, almost every day, all but six this month have been above average. We are going to finish the month all the way through the 31st with four more 90 plus degrees, and we are going to be looking at 20 days this month in the 90s. We are in day four right now of an eight day heat wave. That is the second longest heat wave we have seen this summer. Now, the problem is with all of this heat, we have not been getting the rain we need. Look at this. We are in a deficit about two and a half inches below for the summer so far, not filling in a lot of the blanks with rainfall. And we have a growing drought right now. It's at the moderate level for parts of South Jersey, and it is spreading the abnormal portion of it into parts of uh, Bucks and Montgomery County, across Mercer County, and much of South Jersey. So we really need some rain and we need a little bit of relief. Are we going to get it? No, we're not. Uh, we're going to see the heat continuing here. The mild temperatures are well up to the north and the east of us. In fact, we're going to get a push of even hotter air coming in here over the next several days. By Tuesday, it peaks out, and then we get that relief coming in here by Thursday and Friday. And by relief, I mean the low to mid 80s, so it's not going to be chilly. So, next things to know we're going to have more 90s and humidity on the way. Pop up storms are possible tomorrow. A good soaking for some, but not enough to end that drought. August will be ending hot and stormy, and we have a very nice start to our September. Storm Scan 3 shows that we're mainly clear. We have a few clouds. We'll turn partly cloudy tonight. We'll get a little patchy fog, but right now the area is clear, and it's a muggy night. Here is what's going on. We have a stationary front. It is very near the area with a little disturbance. That has triggered these isolated showers and storms, which will continue. Now, tomorrow you wake up with the fog and a little bit of cloud cover. Sun comes out, percolates the atmosphere, pop up storms across the atmosphere. Uh, across the area. We get some clouds and fog in here for Monday morning. The difference is it clears out and we do not have any rain on Monday. So your forecast for tomorrow, 90 in Philadelphia with a pop-up storm in the afternoon possible. Chance of a storm down the shore again in 86, 82 in the Poconos. Again, my pick place to be. We are going to be looking at 92 on Monday with a mix of sun and clouds dry there. Chance of storms Tuesday, 94 there. 90 on Wednesday and then that's it for the 90s, at least for a little while. September begins in the 80s, and we launch into what looks like a very pleasant and warm and typical holiday weekend. All right, Tammy Souza, thank you so much.